So I tell people to, to hedge your bets. If you're sitting on a stack of cash personally, uh, if I didn't have any XRP right now, I wouldn't wait. I definitely would go secure a bag. And so I tell people, you know, maybe invest like a third or half of what you have to invest now and consider waiting to buy more blood in the streets later on down the road. But um, what what do you think about that? You know, not, not financial advice, obviously, but for newbies yeah. that are just trying to accumulate. <laughs> yeah, of course. And, and definitely never financial advice. What I say to my friends and my and family is even at these sort of prices, don't try and find an immaculate entry when, when we're at prices like this. What you've got to try and work out, in my opinion, is what, what's the risk to reward of this, of this, of this bet, essentially, of, of, your, of your investment? Like, what's the upside and what's the downside? And have a look what percentage-wise you can make in this compared to what you can make in other assets. So they're really important things to take into consideration. So if you look at the previous all-time high, even, for example, so which is like, what, between 320 and 380, depending on what exchange you look at, from here to there is what 400% ish move. I don't know off the top of my head, like maybe four, five hundred percent ish move. But for like Ethereum and Bitcoin, they're still way above that. They they actually like two to three x their all time high on their previous tops, which is this cycle. So if we two to three x 380, then where does that take us out? It takes us out to like nine dollars, twelve dollars ish in in around that sort of section. And, and I'm looking personally for like a thirteen ish dollar uh, short term like high. So. If we can look out towards those sorts of prices, everything's like like adds towards that from what all the other moves have done, what Fibonacci extensions and retracements have done. So look into percentages and like potential risk to reward is what I'd always say. And one thing always to take into consideration, especially at the minute, is your purchasing power of the dollar is like decreasing by 7.9% guaranteed per year. Like at, like that's in inflation. So you 